Hello everyone, welcome back again. I have a teddy bear journal to show you now. This is one of the, the baby's first year's journals that I made and this one is a soft cover journal and it is teddy bears. So it's teddy bears and a little bit of poo bear. So we have on the cover some poo bear fabric and of course a little e ore there in the corner um, as I said it's soft covered I haven't done an awful lot to it because I think the little poo bear story is so cute you don't really want to cover it over so I've put just a little handmade wooden emblem on the edge trimmed it with some laces crocheted lace and a pretty oh I don't know what you call that just a little kind of soft sequin I guess so as I said it's a soft cover I've got some chunky crocheted lace on the back and you could tuck something in there if you wanted to or pin something to it so sewn right through and whoops there goes Teddy <laughs> Teddy doesn't want to sit so I've got it tied up with just a little bit of uh, binding there very soft it's very delicate I've got a little baby singlet on the inside which is covered in teddies like teddy bears tigers foxes there always is a ma manages to be a fox get in there somewhere elephants all kinds of little creatures I'm not sure if I've got you in the right spot today. Oh, there goes Teddy again. Hang on, let's just see. This is a big book, so I think you can see there. Hopefully that's in the middle. So we'll go in and have a look at it. I've mostly used for the main Mrs. Cog's Crafts Teddy Bear Kit. So that's the main kit that I've used, but I'll point out if I've used odds and ends of other things. In this little singlet, which I've made a pocket out of, you can unpin it so it's actually not um, permanently attached. I've got a little rock with hope on it there, which I thought is nice because we all hope for the future, don't we? When you're just starting out in life. So here I've made a little note booklet and just decorated it up. The pictures are from Mrs. Cog's Craft, little boys with dogs and cute things. And I've just decorated that with some fabrics and buttons in my usual style. This one is actually a paper bag, a little paper bag notebook. So if you open it out, you can see it's like a lolly bag and it has a little tuck spot in the front of the bag and I've just added really some cute little stickers and things to use in your journal just some odds and ends to, to play with got some more little stickers in there just clicked in so here we've got a little teddy bear from Mrs Cog's kit little teddy bear tag just some little places to put notes cute little chick there some little teddy bears reading I think that is just so cute and just a few different papers that's like packing paper some lined paper just a little notebook that you can add all kinds of things into I've got a little waxed doily in there for a pocket with two cute little bears in there and a cute little pile of bears tucked in there just a little bit of lace on that side and folded over as a little tuck spot that's just some tea dyed paper lined paper so it's just a little notebook really I've got a little tuck spot there with another cute sweet little bear in there so that one just tucks in there I've got a cute little bear card where they're 
ballooning. I thought that was cute, so it just tucks in behind. Over here we've got this gorgeous bear lounging, lounging on a couch here. Be beautiful. And I've also added some from her Pooh Bear kit. So this is Mrs. Cog's Pooh Bear kit as well. I've just added that in to add to the little bears. Got a little boy flying a kite there. That's just some scrapbook paper that I happen to have. And these are the cabinet cards that come from the the collection I showed you earlier so you can go back over to that video and see how I made those if you like. This one is one from my uh, 52 tags challenge that I did last year I think it was last year and that's just uh, a woven sewn, hand sewn tag that one and we've got a little teddy, cute teddy bear sticker on there. That one. This one's a little flip out with um, a branch fairy. <laughs> Cute little fairy. On there. So what's he called? The mulberry fairy. From the flower fairies postcards. Got some feathered tape down there and cute little dog. That was off a, a napkin. And I've just made a little pocket, a very delicate pocket there. You could poke something small into if you wanted to. Another pocket there with my fondest memories are with the ones I love the most. And be grateful. And a little origami, cute little pocket in there. Some Winnie the Pooh paper. A gorgeous dog in the suitcase with his bear. I think that's just so cute. This is a lovely kit, this one. Beautiful. Little safety pin there, just a cut out uh, a thinlet. Another one of our little tags we made earlier. They come up really quite well. So they worked well in this in this journal. Another teddy bear in the pocket. So we've got a couple of themes running. We've got teddy bears and babies because it's baby's first year, first years. Another one of our cabinet cards we made earlier. I've just tucked that in that little belly band there which says baby on the top. Beautiful fluffy teddy bear. Looks a little bit like this one. Here. And these gorgeous little cards here. They come from, I think Preon Designs did some paper with those cards on. And this cutie comes from Sam Paul. She had some gorgeous little vintage teddy sort of pictures that, and baby kind of pictures that went well. So I used some of those. That's another one of our cabinet cards. And just a little piece of paper in there, backing that like a bookmark. Um, gum blossom, back to Pooh Bear over here. Pooh Bear, lovely, lovely teddy page from the kit. Lovely doily there with little bear peeking around. Got some fabric, a couple of different fabrics there, just to give it a bit of texture little tuck spot here with an envelope in, in there that you could poke something cute in and I've left this to put a baby photo on so mum can find one of her cute baby photos and add to that little spot and another one there and I've put some extra tabs in though if she would like to mark any sections of the book with those Gorgeous teddy bear here in a little jumper and dress, so sweet. Got some little goldfish on the bottom of the strings and a safety pin over here. Beautiful teddy, everything in life I share except of course my teddy bear. Here I've got a little flip out and I've just put a tab on there so that you know that it pulls out. 
and you've got that lovely piece of cardstock there here's a nice little spot there that you can tuck things or put a photograph or something in and the same on this side so I haven't put anything in those because I wanted to leave it for her to put to choose what she'd like to put in them of her baby bits and pieces I've got some little stickers that say picture day and special day at the top a bit of washi tape and some pins. I love this photo. It's a gorgeous little vintage boy and his dog. A boy and his dog. A little collage on the the doily there. Fly. Don't buy. Beautiful teddy with daisies. Now how gorgeous is that? I mean, <laughs> it's just beautiful. Little teddy bear with daisies. And another of Pooh Bear, and you've got bits of the Pooh Bear story coming through there, which would be really nice to read to your baby. Pooh Bear sticker here, hunting for butterflies. Another one of Sam Paul's collection. She has some gorgeous vintage pictures. She has that little kind of teddy puppy, which was so cute. I've used him a few times. Just a little corner tuck there with some blue... Uh, vintage crocheted lace there and I've just tucked in there the little note from the bookmaker that one is actually one from Gibbard Neary which I thought was quite nice another one of these lovely pictures that I spoke of before Got a little paint chip card in here with some frogs little frogs punched out some more bears a bear grows more alive with age no one with one ounce of sensitivity would ever consign a bear to the dustbin <laughs> and I've got your birthday month so you, you can write about your baby's birthday month there here I've got uh, Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie, which is a story by Mae Gibbs, a very Australian story, vintage story, about the gum blossom baby. So you've got the beautiful gum blossom baby tape and a little stamp here with the gum blossom babies, Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie and friends going for a ride on a lizard with a frog talking to them. Some more teddy bears and some more poo. Who story? Christopher Robin came slowly down his tree. Silly old bear, he said. What were you doing? I just love the Pooh Bear stories. And here's another one that is very popular with the kids. The Peter Rabbit stories. Gratitude. So that's a lovely um, card. And it says First Easter there. So I thought the bunny went really well with... Um, the Beatrix Potter picture with the first Easter. So here we've got a bit of a flip which I just allowed for some writing space there and underneath you could tuck a photograph or, or something in the pocket. We've got the 100 acre wood here with Pooh Bear's story and Pooh Bear's tree. Owl and Piglet and the crew hang out and rabbit. This is a doily, piece of a doily here, which is being dyed blue. And the gorgeous teddy bear on the couch, so cute. And here we have a poo teddy bear. So I've got two signatures in this book, and we're up to number two here. Cute little puppy golden puppy gorgeous little fella and this is just a little calendar from a baby book which has your 11th month and a bit of a calendar on the back to write a few things on tucked in there and I've just put some blue ribbon in the top of that Pooh Bear sitting outside Mr Saunders with the doorbell and Owl's House. We've 
got one here that says the country gentleman and has a cute little rosy cheeked baby in a bathtub and another piece of that really pretty um, designed scrapbooking paper that I've added in there just a bit of stamping there or stenciling and a little piece of sari ribbon once a bear has been loved by a human being, its expression is forever marked. We've got Teddy in an old suitcase. So sweet. Some more poo singing rum tum tiddly tum. His song. He strolls along. Good times and great friends make the best memories. So really the point of these little books is to gather the memories of their first few years so that they can read them back later. Another little pocket with some cute little bear tags in there and I really haven't done anything to them at all other than add the string at the top so you could write on them or you, I think I backed them with some uh, cabbage dyed paper just so that you could write on them they were stiff enough that you could write little notes and add them to things if you wanted to. I've got some knitted bears over here and some knitting. Another one of those unusual photographs from Prion, and I, th I think that kid is chewing on a licorice stick, although it does look a bit like a cigar. I'm not quite sure. Who knows in those days. Dear Little Teddy from Sam Paul's collection. She has just gorgeous vintage uh, photographs she's made into a, a really lovely digital pack there cute. This is one of hers too with the washboard. Really country style they are. So this is a flip out and I've got some calico just runched along the bottom. I've just glued that. I haven't even sewn it. It's just glued on. This is a paper bag and I haven't backed it because I hadn't decided where I was going to put it yet but I will. And this is one that I added a cute little baby photo too from Tailor Made. So that's uh, one from the kit that I used in a similar style as the one I did on that video where we just tucked a picture in behind the beautiful frame and you've got to pop it on both sides of that and that can just wrap over over a page like that. I've got some stenciling on that page and this side here I've just put this little doily in because I thought it looked so much like a little rug that went over the little bear in his little bed down here. I could see him having his little bedspread draped over him so I've added that little cute little bedspread type rug there. Over here I've got a flip out, um, a boy and his dog and I've just put some little stickers in behind there to add to the pages and you know, to do your own sort of story. Spotty Dalmatian puppy and a few little pieces just to write on in there and um, you know, maybe mum could write some little memories or things that she'd like to pass on to her, her son. Just got a little extra piece of paper in here to write on which is another just folded paper in there with a little tag which is cute and then this is a, an envelope so it's a window envelope and we've got there a cute little boy in a pedal car with his dog which is just so cute I mean boys and dogs just go together don't they <laughs> it's just so cute and teddy bears so I thought that was rather adorable so we've got the big dog over here and the little dog in here. Happiness is not about getting all you want, it's about enjoying all you have. Some more bears reading books and gathered bears. It says friendship, which is really lovely. There we have a little piglet sticker. And the cover of the Winnie the Pooh book by Ernest Shepherd more little froggies on the 
on the strings here and we say goodbye to Pooh and Piglet and Pooh on the stairs beautiful sunflowers now that has to tell you that it comes from Mrs. Cog doesn't it <laughs> it's gorgeous sweet little bears in a box and with daisies this one over here is a lovely picture of a mother and child Again, one of Mrs. Cog's collection. I've just got a little flip here so you could do some secret writing behind there if you wanted to. And a dragonfly. Some more writing space. What teddy bears are the most sensible down here? This beautiful bear with a heart. And this lovely bear from Sam Paul. Beautiful. Just gorgeous. Love the bears. The bears are beautiful. Here I've got a piece of writing paper that you could write something on, and I've got these two little puppies here. Gorgeous lassie dog and a little tiny puppy. So on the back it has the letter R, which in this case is the baby's initial. And I've got a little stamped or stenciled ivy. So that just tucks in under the heart there. Another one of those prion pages there. And some sample cute little baby shoes on a little baby feed table or chair. Cute. High chair. Another teddy. Now this is actually belly band made out of a bandage, a children's bandage. <laughs> and the reason I put that in there is because the baby's mum is a nurse. So that's just a little nod to his mum who's a nurse. So we've got a little bookmark in there and a cute little tag of teddies in a, in a little tub, which is a boat I guess, a little boat got another one of those tags I made in the 52 tags challenge which is the one with the puppy dogs on it buttons a little heart a little stone there cute very pretty so that just tucks in that little pocket and that's a fold out to a little boy on a swing very beautiful paper that one Another of Sam's lovely washboards and just a little postcard in behind there. So that folds out both ways there and she can add photographs or whatever she likes to that. Pooh Bear and Piglet. Pooh trying to get pulled out of his hole. Gorgeous daisies there. Just a little writing spot. I love you to the moon and back. There's a dear little baby with his teddy bear. Got a pocket over here with a bear that sort of slides out the side. And a little teddy bear. So it's like a double tag pocket there. And there's a spot in here for tucking little photographs or memorabilia. It's just a little flip pocket. That one, it's quite pretty. It's got little cherubs on it. And a bird. Another one of those prion designs papers. And a little sewn tag here. In all the things of nature there is something of the marvellous Aristotle. That's beautiful. I think that may be one of Took's, perhaps from her collection. She has some lovely little sayings too. So we've got Pooh here with Christopher Robin and Piglet and Pooh Bear. And another of the fairy cards with a little fairy baby here. And that's a flip out on an envelope. And that has a mother holds her children's hand for a while, their hearts forever. And I've just got the little card that I put in, made by me, with a little wax seal and 
it has a bunny on it and these little feathers from the garden from our little um, bronze winged pigeons that have the lovely bronzy pattern on their feathers and they often leave them behind in their water container out there in the garden so I added a few of those and we've got Kanga and Poo and Piglet here on the end, edge beautiful snuggle bear and this is actually a, a baby's bib that I've sewn into a pocket and it's got some little country cowboy kids on it and it says mini me and you and I've added that little watercolour card in there which I thought was a beautiful painting of Teddy holding Teddy a beautiful card so that goes in there and then we've reached the end so we're back to the back page again and that is my first baby's first years book hope so I hope you enjoyed that thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon bye for now